Commando! Hello. I was just on the floor. Ah, rodent! That startled me. I was on the floor immersing myself in some wonderful ancient literature from the year of 2016. My name is Kevin McFly, famous younger brother of Martin McFly from Back to the Future. What a film. So, who am I, you're wondering, sitting in front of you on this TV screen, reading to you this literature of the code that is bro? I'm a time traveler. Was, uh, was a student here back in the day, back in the way, way days of 2016. And I'm from the year 2074. Uh, it's a strange place. They brought Bernie Mac back from the dead, and he now serves as our U.S. president. So I'm here to tell you the story about the time that President Puto and Dr. Kaffer found the Fountain of Youth. So one day, Dr. Puto found the Fountain of Youth and resorted to a younger, uh, pretty handsome version of himself when he was 20 years old. And finally he finds Dr. Kaffer in this dive bar in the future we call McKinney's. So we, Kaffer's sitting around playing pool with, pool with these thugs and he comes up, Dr. Puto comes up to Dr. Kaffer and Dr. Kaffer looks at him, Chris, it took you this long to find my fountain. And he goes, he goes, Dr. Kaffer, Dr. Kaffer, I need your help. There's an evil, evil man who's trying to take over Spring Hill in the world. His name is Connor Bush and he put his mind into a woman because that'd be more politically correct and would earn him more votes. <laughs> Dr. Kaffer takes a sip of his drink, spits it out, he goes, that darn, darn God evil man. So they high five, team up and now they're in action. Step one, infiltrate the president's office which is now guarded by aliens with lasers. So they sneak up, they're hiding behind Java City the door. So they said, all right, I have two laser guns on me and we're about to take on about a hundred aliens. Are you ready? He said, I was born ready. So Dr. Kaffer and Dr. Puto start pew, 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 taking out aliens and there's like and they're just firing back lasers, lasers, lasers back and forth. But that's no match for Dr. Kaffer and Dr. Puto because they fire right back doo, 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 and a car explodes and it takes out like 10 aliens. So they get inside the building, infiltrating, running, running. They turn the corner. Dr. Kaffer gets hit right in the chest, down. Dr. Puto quick turns around, shoot him, alien dead. Runs to Dr. Kaffer. Dr. Kaffer, Dr. Kaffer, you live man, live man, don't die on me. He goes, oh, Dr. Puto, take, take this lightsaber or sword light due to copyright laws with Star Wars and avenge me. And then I kind of showed up. I was kind of nervous, there was a bunch of shooting. I was like, sorry fellas, I'm trying to find this place called, uh, well back in the day it was called New Hall, now it's called um, uh, Porsche Hall. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to find my girlfriend. He turns to me and goes, son, I've never heard of New Hall. By the looks of your face, I don't think you have a girlfriend. I was like, all right, all right. If you're, that's how you're gonna play, but he had a lightsaber, so, or a sword light. Sorry, sorry, Star Wars. And, uh, and so I wasn't gonna mess with him. So Dr. Puto makes a race to the front doors and bam! Kicks open the doors to see Connor Bush, herself looking all triumphant. She looks at me, you're not gonna take me on, Sonny Boy. Bring it on, Sonny Boy. And they go, vroom, 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 vroom. And then Dr. Puto hits it with one, you were a horrible SJ president in the past, Connor. Vroom, 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 vroom. And this is the, one of the greatest battles of all time, better than that Luke um, Walker Sky guy. Darn you, copyright laws. And then vroom, 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 vroom. And then with one mighty strike, vroom. Nails Connor right in the head, down. And then <clears throat> Dr. Puto hops over and looks over her and says, I'm back in charge. So after the battle, uh, Dr. Puto went on to take on his, um, you know, his reign as you know, president of Spring Hill College and eventually the president of the world after World War V. Um, he kind of just snuck his way in there and now he rules the world. Um, Connor Bush survived and as punishment for his evil doings, 
Um, they put his brain inside Ernie the dog, who is now a pest around Spring Hills campus. Um, and we just ignore him because he's a really loud, annoying dog. Um, and yeah, I mean, the aliens, they went back to their you know, home planet. They were really cool about it. Um, they understood it was an evil mission and they, they were cool. We had a night out. Um, I found the chemistry building, um, filled that class, and I am now in my 12th year um, in university. Um, thank you, mom and dad. Um, and yeah, so that was, it was all, all, all that ends well. Dr. Kaffer and Dr. Puto took down the evil president, Connor Bush, and now Connor has his brain inside of a dog. And I'm failing school. True story. <laughs>
Yo quiero irme a los Estados Unidos con Felipe, la tierra de oportunidades. Yo quiero tener una hija y ella podría ser la, la directora de un supermercado. No será la más brillante ni la más calificada, pero por Dios por lo menos podría hacer algo con su vida. Ahora, ¿ustedes me entienden? Sí, sí mamá. Bien, pues ahora váyanse. Eduardo, tengo unas palabras para ti. Ernesto, ayuda. Lo siento. Hola. Estoy bien, ¿y tú? Sí, a ella la fue bien. Ahora, si cuela la parte número dos. There's so much at stake with this answer. In Bora Bora, in a little hut. I'm here to ask everyone. Hi guys, I'm Carrie Ebanks reporting for On The Spot After Dark. Many millennials are involved in this year's presidential debate, so I'm here in downtown Mobile asking my generation what would they do if they had the chance to be president. If I became president. If I became president, oh my gosh, um, I would like to restore treaties amongst our allies. Which, that would be the first thing. If I became president, I think I'd make all public universities free. I would make all clubs free! It shouldn't be something that most people focus on nowadays. No, it shouldn't be. The things that the media shows on the media, like, that shouldn't be a thing. Absolutely. First thing I would do as presidency of the United States of America, I would, I would first implement a program that would allow for everyone that lives on the streets of United States of America, on their causeways, or any type of canal, or any type of street, to be somehow housed. The first thing I would do is fund all the national parks. Gender-wise, just be whoever you want to be. Marry Justin Bieber. Give babies guns to defend themselves against bears. I build that wall 10 feet taller and 10 feet higher. I go to South, I'm on the golf team. When, when you say translucent, are we still on or not? Yes. When you say translucent. If I became president, I would make it a law that if you sneeze in public and someone else doesn't say God bless you, it's punishable by uh, death by exile. Thank you. First thing I do as president, I make a chocolate fountain where the Washington Monument is. I knock it down and then I just make a chocolate fountain in my honor because I love chocolate and I love myself. So that's what I would do. If I had seven words to say this, I couldn't do it. New Year's has come and gone, and so have our resolutions. And we're all making baby steps. New Year, same you. A message from students everywhere. And now, your student feature presentation. Stopping people like this is why I took the job. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
absolutely unbelievable. Uncanny. I can't yeah. believe what on my our eyes campus. are seeing. On our campus. The, the <laughs> on our campus. Of these on animals. our campus. Hey, boys. Hello, gentlemen. What we got going on? What's this? Excuse me. What's this? Step aside. Step aside. Ah. Well, what's going on, fellas? Uh, what do you think you're doing? You think selling drugs to kids is cool? You guys want to try some dihydrogen monoxide here? I don't he want wants any. some what? I don't want any. Of it. It's just water. I, I don't want any of it. Is that what the kids are calling drugs these days? Me. Off the table. Hey, but just try it. Just, just give it a shot. You make me sick. Ah! Oh! He makes me sicker. Sick. Yeah. Makes me sick. A damn sicker. Absolutely makes me sick. What kind of person? Superman punch. Oh. Oh. What, what was that about? Oh. Ah! I tell you about the time I uh, jumped these bad boys over the ponds. You did what? Uh, yep. Cleared them right over. Is everything that comes out of your mouth a lie? Name one time I have lied to you. <laughs> one time. Yeah, one, yeah. One, one time. time. Okay, you time. remember that time about 15 years ago where you're like, hey, bud, I got this really cool job. It's a public safety mm -hmm. officer. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. It is. You know what? I came, and it's been hell. Every day has we, been a living We are hell. a service to the people. We are, we protect this community. All right, and if you don't want to be a part of that, you can just leave. You know what? Two things. Yeah. Quit lying oh. and don't ever spit on me again. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? What what you gonna I'm one, so, one second. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah me right. too. Mm -hmm. Got it. <sighs> we got a code 566. Yeah. Just drive the cart. Just drive the cart. I can't uh, This either. isn't over. Who this doesn't, who doesn't like being a public safety officer? This is not safety. over. This is not over. We're going to have Actually. to go in hot and heavy for this, okay? okay. All right. Be careful. Right. I love you. Hey, hey, hey. Go get him, right? Go get him, Tiger. Got him. Let's go. Right. Hey, you don't hey. worry. We're good. We have this. Hey, hey. You sure, man, right? Tell me what you got. Damn it! Ma'am! Ma'am, Ma you're going to have to calm down. Okay. Yeah, you're, you know, you're disturbing the peace. And you're really. You just got to calm down. Ah! 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 God! Help me! Help me! No, don't! All right, well, I thought he could handle this on his own, but clearly we need the big guns in here. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. Oh, oh ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kim, Kim, Kim. Oh, my God. Kim, Kim. Kim. Oh, my God. What are you doing? How did you let this happen? I just don't understand why I'll never be good enough you. You are literally insane. It's been three years of my life. Why do you think you're the three? Why do you think you're the three? So yeah, that's how I failed art in the fourth grade. We thought you were dead. Oh, cameraman. God. Oh, yes. oh my goodness. It was a oh, sticky man. situation in there. Did oh. you see the wrath of that woman? God, she was crazy. Oh, oh. oh. that feels so good. Oh, thank you so much. We gotta get our cuffs. Thank you, cameraman. We can't lose these guys. Yeah, we need those. Well, maybe maybe now you can learn how to use them instead of getting handcuffed to a bed. She was crazy. Yeah, that She got one. you too. Don't that even. One. She must know some sort of kung fu or karate or something. God, she. Or like, Kong crazy. Yeah, man. Kong, yeah, she yeah, she really put the moves on us, man. She really put the moves on. Alright, well, let's get out, let's just get yeah. out of here, man. Let's go. Woo! Whoa. Man. Alright. We got it taken care yeah, of, bud. Alright. Let's just Hey, yeah, I, really I didn't like that. I didn't I really like that at appreciate all. that uh, I don't like that, that at all. Up in there, man. Uh -huh, no. That was some good stuff, dude. Um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, so You know, we just wanna wanna thank you for what you did back there. Yeah, you saved our lives. That was uh that was a sticky situation. I mean we could have died. Yeah, but you're gonna you're gonna cut all that out, right? I mean he has to, man. Yeah, I mean this, that's this that's is really embarrassing. Yeah, that that won't look good. I mean he wouldn't it. do that to us. I mean, no, I mean if, if the Sarge gets wind of that, we're we're kinda done. 
You know what? You better get one. Just turn off the camera. Yeah. You know what? Let me just turn it Yeah, why don't you get, turn it turn it off. Turn, it off. turn off the camera. Give me it. X-Go, give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. X-Go, deliver to you. Down the walk. So, and then here, now this is my favorite bush. All right, and we're going to keep this bush our little secret. Because if you tell anybody, I will kill your family. All right? So don't tell anybody about our little secret. All right? So I always come here and I just... It's so melancholy about all the good times I had with this bush. Um, just, oh God, I just, it's, claws up, Badgers. Knock, knock, open up the door to spread with the non-stop pop-up and stainless steel.